Lexus, how do you grow your hair under your wigs? Lexus, what type of oil do you use to grow your hair out? Lexus, how do you grow your natural hair? Lexus, what type of oil do you use? What type of hair pills do you take? Lexus, how you do that? How you do that? How you do this? How you do that? How you do this? How you get your hair so long? I'm gonna help y'all. And one thing, y'all better watch this video all the way until the end. You're gonna see me straightening my hair. Actually, you're gonna see me blow dry, press my edges, cause you know, that's the black tradition. If y'all are not hip, that's how you get them edges straight. That's how you get them roots straight. You're gonna see me flat ironing my hair. And then you're gonna hear me talk about all of the things I've been doing, how I grow my hair. And I'm telling you, it was a very simple process. So make sure you watch this entire video. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And make sure you leave me some comments to let me know what you think about this video. And if you want some more natural hair videos and natural hair tips. Other than that, let's get right into it.
Start dancing, ho. has been requested so much it's been one of the most awaited videos and it is the first video on my channel for 2017 happy new year to all of you guys i hope you guys will have a proper i hope you guys have a prosperous new year because this is a year that i plan on getting all of my shit together um but really everybody wants to know lexus how did you grow your hair out because you guys know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to my channel if you've been subscribed to me since 2011 you guys know that was the start of my hair journey i started off with color damaged uh uh i was transitioning my hair was like all the way up here and like a nasty little neck length bob my hair was through and um i took it upon myself to basically embark on my own natural hair journey and start embracing my natural hair my natural hair because um my mom used to relax my hair uh she first put a relaxer in my hair in seventh grade so um around that time around that age i wasn't really messing with my own natural hair so i wasn't able to appreciate the curls that were naturally growing out of my head so you know perms are like the best thing ever straight hair oh my god i can do whatever i want blah 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 blah, blah. but uh when i was in high school i just realized like i'm tired I don't, I don't perm my own hair my mom used to perm my hair so uh i just wanted to kind of get out of that whole little idea that i was gonna always have to have my mom do my hair i didn't want that to happen so i started growing my natural hair out now originally 
um when i first started my natural hair journey i was wearing my hair in flexi rise sets and twist outs and braid outs basically doing natural hairstyles to help grow my hair out but this was like in the summertime of 2012 so that weather kind of allowed me to do those type of hairstyles uh effortlessly without having to worry about cold weather and you know getting pneumonia because you know a lot of those styles require water and your hair to air dry um so uh this year actually 2015 in july if you guys don't know i posted a hair vlog and i was cutting off the rest of my heat damaged ends because i had ended up growing all of my relaxer out um actually i think i grew all of my relaxer out by 2014 but my hair was so heat damaged because i was trying to keep up with both textures that it just looked like my hair was relaxed so i eventually grew out all of the heat damaged ends uh i didn't grow all of it out but i grew enough of my natural hair out so that i can cut the rest of the heat damaged ends off which was in t july 2015. Uh, i do have a video of me you know being in the salon showing you guys me getting my hair cut and all stuff like that so that was over a year ago and my hair was like up at my collarbone okay this is my collarbone my hair is down here now so I'm gonna turn to the back so you guys can see how long my hair is gotten. so the hair on my right hand side grows so much faster and longer than the left hand side because this side is a lot longer than the left but overall my hair is like the healthiest it's ever been and the longest it's ever been to be honest like my hair is all the way down here now y'all like what? Okay, so now y'all wondering, what have you been doing to grow your hair out like this? What did I do to get my hair to be this length compared to how short it was in 2015? So my answer to you guys is wigs, 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 wig life. Okay, you gotta damn near be a mannequin, okay? You gotta dedicate yourself to protective styling. I'm not saying that wigs is the only way to grow your hair out. It's just personally how I grew my hair out and it honestly was the best method for me. So uh, I really didn't start wearing wigs until 2014, but I was still like wearing my natural hair in between and stuff like that. But I really kicked my uh, protective styling into overdrive excuse me in 2015 and 2016 so after i cut my hair in july in that hair vlog i started wearing wigs more and more often closure wigs frontal wigs and i was oiling my braids underneath and you guys know all of my loyal subscribers know i used to use wild growth oil and i still would use it if i could find the bottle i just have i lost the bottle and i haven't thought to go and buy another bottle because i've been substituting with different oils just seeing how everything else works for my hair seeing what i like instead of just sticking to exactly like one product so i've been using this um dna miracle treatment oil this is the jamaican black castor oil and it's the extra dark formula i've been using this in my braids and i've also been using tea tree oil but i actually don't know where it's at but tea tree oil and jamaican black castor oil is what i've been using under my wigs while i have been protective styling and honestly i feel like i've been getting the same results with these oils compared to my wild growth oil because my hair honestly when I don't touch it, when I don't put heat in my hair and I just let it thrive underneath my wigs and I oil my braids, it's like my hair just grows like wildfire. And I don't think a lot of people understand that low manipulation, low to no manipulation on your natural hair and no heat, honestly, is the best combination to make your hair grow. So under my wigs, uh, I used to go to my aunt to get my hair braided under my wigs but I noticed that some of my hair was thinning like my edges like my edges were thinning right here and it was kind of thinning right here so I stopped going to get my hair braided and I ended up starting to flat twist so instead of constantly getting my hair braided for uh, preparation to wear a wig I ended up starting to flat twist my natural hair I wore six flat twists 
uh, in my hair that I did myself. And what I would do is I would co-wash my hair with this Aussie Moist Conditioner. You can get this from CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Meyer, Target, Walmart, wherever you want to get it from. I got mine from Dollar General and this is like $3.50 and it's like the huge pump bottle. I love this. I use it for my natural hair when I'm wearing my wash and goes. Um, to co-wash my hair on whatever i love using this conditioner it gives me a lot of slip and it helps me detangle my hair in the shower without um losing too much hair so uh what i would do was i would co-wash my hair and then i would come out towel dry it and i will put six flat twists in my hair to prepare for a wig going straight to the back nothing too major but it was just the simple fact that i wasn't putting too much tension on your hair on, on my hair by getting small braids to my scalp and possibly pulling my hair out so i feel like that did contribute to the growth of my hair by using less manipulative styles and styles that use less tension under my wigs so with that being said, um, I don't, well, I actually haven't found like a staple shampoo to use. Like I use my Afroji, uh, shampoo for damaged hair. My hair isn't damaged anymore, but, um, I'm not a real shampoo junkie unless my hair is super dirty and like it needs to be cleaned. Uh extensively so um just recently when i was getting ready to make this video and straighten my hair i had been wearing my flat twist actually i had my aunt braid my hair for my birthday because i just needed that extra secure foundation under my wig and i hadn't got my hair braided since like april actually i haven't gotten my hair braided since march of 2016 so uh, I ended up getting it braided in November so I could have that staple foundation. So I wore my braids up until I just started to record the pieces for this video. So I wore the braids for over a month. I have been oiling my braids with this Jamaican black castor oil. And I ended up washing my hair at my boyfriend's house. And what shampoo did I use? I use a Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo. And if you guys don't know, like back in 2012, I used to rave about that shampoo and he just so happened to have it at his house. So when I was washing my hair, like my hair was so freaking dirty. Like this oil is like really dark. So I feel like that was what was washing out on top of the fact that I hadn't washed my hair in like a month. So my hair was just filthy. But dirty hair grows faster than clean hair. So that's always a tip for you guys to remember. So I ended up washing it and like that's really all i've been doing y'all like so many people ask me like what do you do to make your hair grow i'm wearing these wigs i'm oiling my scalp at least two times a week okay now i won't necessarily don't quote me on that for sure for sure because it really depends on how my scalp is feeling if i feel like my scalp is dry and my hair is thirsty i will oil my hair and my scalp as needed but you don't want to overdo the oil okay you don't want to overdo it especially for my girls who wear sew-ins and i get a lot of questions on how to prevent your hair from getting oily when you're trying to oil your braids it's really no getting around that y'all i'm sorry it's really no getting around getting oil on your tracks when you're trying to oil your scalp because your braids are literally right underneath your tracks so if you have a lot of oil on your hair it's just naturally going to transfer onto your tracks so um but sometimes that's just a l you have to take in order to ensure that you are um properly growing your hair out and giving it the moisture that it needs so um i don't take any hair supplements at first i used to take the main metabolism pills but that was like 2015 i ordered two bottles one bottle got stolen when i was in uh, I have in my car I have my book bag and it had the bottle of the pills in there somebody broke into my car stole the whole book bag so the whole all those pills are gone and then I have another bottle I, I took like two pills in 2016 I could say 2016 now it's 2017 but I took two pills and then I stopped taking them because I just I just hate taking pills so honestly you could say that it was a waste of money for me buying those pills but they didn't contribute to any hair growth that you're seeing on me right now. Everything that you see all this length is honestly from just using um, closure and frontal wigs and oiling my hair with my Jamaican black castor oil, tea tree oil, and I can't remember the last time that I used my wild growth oil, but I definitely do recommend it for anybody that is trying to find a staple oil to use to help with hair growth. Um, 
to straighten my hair you guys already saw in the other clips but to straighten my hair i use my chi silk infusion this is like this is like a throwback for my channel because i i live buy this product it's like $25 for this bottle but this bottle will last you like a year like honestly because you don't even need that much and the thing about this bottle is it spilled in one of my bags so I literally had to scavenge out like enough to put in my hair but it made my hair super silky so uh yeah this is a definite lifesaver for all hair tech all hair types and all hair textures so I use this I also use my Paul Mitchell smoothing gloss drops. I've had this since like 2012, no lie. And also when I'm preparing to straighten my hair, I use my Aussie Hair Insurance Heat Protecting Shine Spray. I also use my Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner and this Eva NYC Blow Dry Spray. All of these products are what I use in my hair after I wash, condition, and towel dry my hair. So I apply all of these products when my hair is damp and I blow dry them in. You don't want to add any of these products, at least not the cheese silk infusion or the gloss drops or the NYC blow dry spray because of course you have to use it to blow dry your hair. But those products will weigh your hair down if you use it when your hair is dry. So I kind of recommend that you guys refrain from using it on dry hair. So uh, my leave-ins are added when my hair is wet because my hair is pretty thick. It doesn't look super thick right now because it's silk out so um but my hair absorbs everything i have highly porous hair so like it just absorbs moisture and all of the products i use asap so um aside from doing my protective styling in the summertime i plan on wearing my natural hair out like in wash and glows and twist outs and flat twist outs braid outs whatever flexi rod sets because i started doing it in the summer 2016 and like my natural hair just start growing so much faster and um of course your hair is going to grow underneath your wigs when you're not touching it but when you're actually just like wearing your hair out moisturizing it and just letting it thrive in the summer heat like my hair just start growing super super fast um if you guys follow me on instagram i hope you guys do follow me i will have all of that in the description box below but if you guys go down my instagram page to like april 2016 my hair was like a lot shorter than this For it to be from April to December and I had like a significant amount of growth. I say I got at least an inch and a half to two inches from April to December. So I feel like that's like a huge jump. Seriously, a huge jump. And I really can't credit anything else besides protective styling, oiling my braids with Jamaican black castor oil, tea tree oil. You can use wild growth oil if you bought it. I love it still. I just haven't bought it to replace the uh the lost bottle that i had but guys like that's really all i do like honestly like i don't have a staple shampoo and conditioning routine like i don't have a set time where i shampoo and condition my hair because when i wear my wigs like i can go like at least a month without washing my hair because i just i don't know I, I don't think i'm dirty or anything but like dirty hair just honestly grows faster than clean hair so uh when my hair is straightened like it is now i will wait till my hair gets like completely oily at the roots that i can't really do anything with it and also guys get some get some dry shampoo for these little wraps we not doing no oily wraps that's only been in your hair for less than a week and then your roots are super oily this is called the chlorine laboratories uh dry shampoo with oat milk i got this as a gift in my generation beauty uh, bag that i got back in 2015 um but i've been using it for my scalp just you know to get rid of the little oils and stuff so i can have a preserved uh wrap so um but other than that when my hair just gets too oily to manage i wash it or cold wash. actually i do wash it um I just need to stock up on different types of shampoo because I really don't have a staple shampoo. So if somebody in the comments asks me uh, 
what shampoo do you use or what shampoo do you recommend i'm gonna know that you didn't watch this video because i really don't have a set holy grail shampoo and i just like this conditioner because of the slip it gives me how how well it detangles my hair um also y'all i have a deep conditioner that i use um before I straighten my hair just to prepare and give me that extra moisture and I'm going to show you guys real quick. So to deep condition my hair I use the Macadamia Professional Nourishing Moisture Mask. So you guys can see that. So this is the deep conditioner that I use and it's super rich and creamy. Excuse how this bottle looks but I used a lot of this in my hair when I was preparing to straighten it because I knew that I hadn't put heat in my hair since well I, I blow dried my hair one time earlier in November just to you know see you know how far I was coming along with my length but I haven't put direct heat in my hair since the summertime so I just wanted to make sure that my hair is going to be prepared and well moisturized before I added that type of heat to my hair and this is good for all hair textures it says it's good for well actually it says it's good for medium to coarse textures it reconstructs, revitalizes, and repairs. It's color safe. It has a pro oil complex with macadamia and argan oil. Um, it's free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten. Cruelty free. And yeah, I really like it. It really made my hair feel like butter after I rinsed it out and began to uh, blow dry my hair as you guys already saw in the previous clips. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is literally all I do. Cause after this, I'm a, I'm a, I got some hair that's waiting on me. I'm gonna make that into a wig. I'm gonna put my hair right back up, and you probably aren't gonna see my hair until the summertime, where I'm wearing like wash and goes and like other natural hairstyles. I probably won't straighten my hair again until the end of the year. And trust me, guys, it takes a lot of dedication to stay you know consistent with protective styling because we always want to touch our natural hair we love for our scalps to breathe we love to just see how far our hair has come but when you really get down to the nitty gritty and understand what goal you're going for and what length you're trying to obtain you understand that sometimes you just have to sacrifice you know straightening your hair or you know just putting that little bit of heat on it because it can really make a difference honestly when you put less heat in your hair your hair will grow because all heat for your hair is bad okay heat is bad naturally but i mean that's not going to stop us from doing it completely at least it's not stopping me but it has definitely reduced how much i put in my hair because back in high school i used to use heat in my hair every single day every single day that's why my hair was so fried that's why i didn't have a curl pattern but now i understand the you know the sensitivity of my curls and how i don't want them to be heat damaged anymore i'm not doing any more big chops okay i'm not cutting my hair again ever i trim my ends like i just trim my ends when i was straining my hair this time around but the last time i trimmed them was i want to say april 2016 when i had um when I had straightened my hair. So that was the last time I straight I straightened and trimmed it. So um I say I did two trims in one year and that's really the the um the baseline for how much I trim my hair because um yeah I don't I don't believe in trimming every three to six weeks because I don't think I think that's overkill. You're gonna cut too much of the hair you won't even see it grow. So, of course, you do have to keep your ends trimmed in order to maintain a healthy head of hair and in order to see the growth because you don't want to have long hair, but from point A to point B, all of this is split. So, it's like all of this is really the only hair that really matters, okay? So, you need to, do, you really do need to keep your ends trimmed. It's just that I only trim mine twice a year or as needed, okay? As needed or twice a year. So, that's pretty much it. Like... And I wrap my hair every night, even though when I wake up in the morning, my scarf is next to me instead of on my head. Um, wrapping your hair when you're wearing your hair straight is a, a must, especially if we have cotton pillowcases, because cotton pillowcases does break off natural hair. It makes you lose moisture in your hair. So I'm just trying to make sure I've covered everything because i really hope i did um hopefully in the summer i will be showing you guys my uh wash and go routine because i've been getting dragged through the mud 
to show that video even though you guys did not give it a thousand likes like I wanted it to I'm still gonna show you guys in the summertime when the weather allows me to actually show you guys my whole process but I'm just trying to make sure I said everything because this is this is a lot of information y'all even though it's a simple you know routine it's just a lot of information to take in but this is personally what has been working for my hair but I'm gonna tell you guys that everybody's hair is different I can't ensure that everything that I do and use in my hair is gonna work for you I encourage you to try it to make your own opinion or whatever but this is just personally what works for my hair everybody's gonna find their own substitutes or what works for their hair on their own but this is just what works for me and I hope that this actually help you guys because um, I get these questions a lot this uh, this video has been well uh, I can't even talk this video has been requested a lot so I just wanted to give you guys the most detailed video I could just telling you all what I've been doing with my hair to let it grow and really all it's been is protective styling and no heat that's really all it is guys so I'm going to turn around again so you guys can see the length of my hair. I used to have bangs, but now the bangs are like completely gone. So this is this side. They have this side, it's tucked behind my ear. So, yes guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. I really, really, really hope I didn't miss any information. But if I did, and I really hope I didn't, you can ask me in the comments below. But this whole video was made so that I can stop having to answer the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Because I get these questions so often that I just want to compile a huge video. Uh, this is going on like almost 18 minutes of me just talking about what I do with my hair. So this is really just just make sure that everybody knows what i do so i don't have to keep asking or i i don't have to keep answering the same questions over and over again because it gets annoying i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing it gets annoying but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure you are subscribed leave comments again if i miss anything in the video make sure you ask me in the comments below subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I love you all.